time for a video on our next spirit day. Hey, hey Griffins! This Friday is the Floral Friday Spirit Day. Be sure to wear a flower on Friday. Yay. Bye, Bye Griffins. Griffins! Next up are some student, student interviews. You may have been wondering about our stamp cards for our spirit days. After spring break, every single student will be entered in our spirit drawing. The more you participate, the more opportunities you have to win. For each spirit day you participate in, you will, you will need to stop by the student store to get your bonus entry, entry filled. If you currently have a stamp card, you will need to turn it in Friday, March 31st. You will receive a bonus entry for each stamp you have. Our spirit winners will be selected the week of May 22nd. Some of the prizes are Bluetooth speakers, portable ring lights, LED strips, and more. Next up for Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the last episode of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader Science Teacher Edition. We're here with Mr. Heck and Lively. Hello. Uh, Mr. Heck and Lively, do you think you're smarter than a fifth grader? I'd like to say that I'm ideologically, morally, and spiritually opposed to tests of random questions as a proxy for intelligence. But with that being said, I'm going to fight as if the life of my children depended on it. Okay then, I'm going to pretend to understand what you just said and let's get started. Um, which body part continues to grow throughout your lifespan? Options are ears, nose, or both. Give me that question again. Which body part continues to grow all throughout your lifespan? The options are ears, nose, or both. I'm going to say both. That is correct. Um, question number two is, which state of matter takes the shape of its container? That would be a liquid. That's correct. Uh, what is the hardest substance in your body? The options are skull, femur, or tooth enamel. Tooth enamel. That is correct. What color has the shortest wavelength? The, the options are red, violet, and magenta. I believe it's red. That is incorrect. The correct answer is violet. Um, which scientist proposed the three laws of motion? Newton, not Fig. That is correct. Name the process which are involved in a cloud formation. There's two. Can you give me that one again. Name the process w which are involved in cloud formation. Evaporation, condensation. The correct answer is condensation and de deposition. You can get like half credit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So which force keeps us from flo floating while on Earth? Gravity. That is correct. And for the last question, what do you call the polar poles of a magnet? What do you, the north and south poles of the magnet? That is correct. Um, the fun fact today is if you take out all the empty space in our atoms, the human race could fit in a volume of a sugar cane, a sugar cube. The atoms that make up the world uh, around us seem solid, but are in fact 99.99% empty space. That's amazing, Lauren. Thank you for Mr. Heck and Lively for participating with us, and we'll see you, we won't see you on the next one, Griffins. Thanks so much. Bye. Why are you standing on by yourself? Those shoes are made for dancing with someone else. Why don't we move on? First season of Are You Smarter Than Fifth Grader ended. Yay. Clap. Let's go. You can't see us. Yay. Oh. Let's go. I would like to thank my film crew for helping me. Come here. Like boing, boing. Yay. Driving up in the tents. With money burning holding the threads. What happened up in your head? 
Thank you for all the science teachers for participating in Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader Science Teacher Edition. The next season of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader Sixth Grade Core Edition, which I will not be hosting. I hope you enjoy the next season, Griffins. Bye. Bye, Griffins. Bye. 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 Okay, we have another riddle for you. I can be cracked, I can be made. I can be told, I can be played. What am I? A baby. A baby? Yeah. No. Also, babies is it, are a joke. So is it like skin or something? Excuse me? Is it a joke? Did you hear us? No. You're correct. I guess I'm just smart. Wait, Wait, I want to be smart. <laughs> You're correct. Um, hi, what's your name in grade? Shlok 7th. Okay, so you see a boat filled with people, yet there isn't a single person on the boat. How? Uh, I think that there's no people on board the boat because the bo I, I honestly think the boat's sank, but I'm not too sure. Um, no, the boat's like still floating. <laughs> um, okay. So the hint is like single person. Oh, because everyone there is a couple? Yeah, yeah. Hi, what's your name in grade? Ron, 8th grade. So what has one eye but can't see? That one Cyclops from Percy Jackson. No. You want to try again? No. A needle. Now for some information on the Spirit Day suggestions form. Hey, good friends. Alright, uh, make sure to suggest the Spirit Day on the suggestion form on the Students' Activities page. Now a video about Tupi. Hey Griffins, we're your Tupi here educators back again. A single cigarette contains over 7,000 chemicals in it. That's a lot. Tobacco companies target children with colors on their packaging and flavors. But don't be fooled. Just because it's flavored doesn't mean that it's okay. It's still very bad for you. <coughs> Anu, did you know that smoking can cause different types of cancers and even kill you? What? Really? But this one said that it helps me relieve stress. Well, it, it can actually cause even more stress. Than you really? You and you should use it. Yeah. I'm never smoking again. Good choice. Remember Griffins, be smart and don't start, and stay strong. Bye Griffins! Hey Griffins, this month is Women's History Month, so today we'll be focusing on Helen Keller. Helen Keller was an American author who lost her sight and hearing due to an illness at the age of 19 months. She learned to communicate using home signs till the age of 7 when she met her first teacher, Ann Sullivan. Ann Sullivan taught Helen Keller how to read and write, and Helen Keller went to Harvard and got a bachelor's art degree. After traveling to 35 countries and advocating for those with vision loss, she wrote 14 books on various topics. She was inducted into the Alabama Women's Hall of Fame in 1971. Bloopers! This week for Women's History Month? This week? Are we going to talk No. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello Griffins. Today we will be talking about Mother Teresa for Women's History Month. Mother Teresa was born on August 26 in 1910 uh, from where she was born in North Macedonia. She was a Catholic nun and missionary. She was famous for her charitable work and helping poor, ill, and hungry people in India. She won two Nobel Peace Prizes in 1962 and 1979. She founded the Order of Missionaries of Charity. She died on September 5th, 1997. 
He was an inspiration to many people around the world. You can say like the first sentence. Today we will be talking about Mother Teresa for Women's History Month. That's it? Okay. No, start with Hey Griffin. Wait, everyone has to say Hey Griffin. Founder, found, found. <laughs> hey Griffins! <laughs> we want to know what you guys want to see at our next dance. Link is on the student activity page. Why is Thank you, Bart. No. Yeah. No, let me see. Now for a video on our next LTA. In this game, there will be four teams of four people. The teams will race up to the person holding the bucket and will grab an egg. Inside of the egg, there will be a riddle that the group will need to solve. When they solve the riddle, they will come up to the front table to tell us the answer. The first person to say the right answer wins. There will be two rounds. Here are some clips from the Disneyland music trip. That's it for today, Griffins. We'll see you next time on... Griffin News!